Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com. You can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And I wanted to talk to you about how you can do a Git clone and clone only a specific branch. So in this case, I've got Git flow going on, but I only want to check out the development branch. How do I do that? So I've got my GitLab repository here. I did a bunch of GitLab tutorials under the heading GitLab Made Easy. And you can see that I've kind of mapped to Git flow. I've got the develop branch, release branch, hotfix branch, and the master branch. And as you can see, the master branch is a file called master.html. The develop branch has a file called develop.html. And so what I'd like to do is I'd like to just clone that specific develop branch. Not master, not release, not hotfix, and I'll ignore the tag. So how do I do that? Well, yeah, open up the terminal window here. Take a look at my directory, nothing in there. Well, I'm gonna need this clone URL, of course, so get your clone URL for your GitHub or your GitLab directory. And then you're gonna issue the git clone command. You're gonna specify the single branch option. Option switch. The git clone single branch switch. And then you're going to specify what that single branch is. And the single branch will be develop. I believe that's the name of the branch that I want. Yes, indeed it is. And so single branch develop. And then, of course, you just put in your URL to your repository. And now that is going to clone just that branch. Root password. Sometimes people suggest just using depth one in there as well so it doesn't uh, put in too much other stuff, but that will successfully clone just that develop branch. Now if I move into that directory, so cd gitlab made easy, and take a look, you'll see that indeed that develop file is there, so that's not available in the master. We can always do git status, and you can see that we are on the develop branch, but more to the point, Let's see what all the branches are. And yes. Double dash all, of course. And you notice that we only have one remote listed there. We don't have any of the other remotes for release, hotfix, or master. And further to the point, like when you do a normal clone, you get the directory that you check out. And then you also get all these other remote references, but then you can always, you know, switch to one of the other branches. But watch, if I actually even try and switch, if I try and check out master, no luck, I get this error message that says, look, master, don't even know about it. So even though it's part of the parent repository, I'm getting no love here when I try and check out a branch that that's not explicitly cloned. So there you go. That's exactly how you do a git clone and bring back only a specific branch. I'm not even going to do git ref log, git log on that. Yeah, then you can see there's the whole history of that branch. I could have done depth one and we only got would have got the last commit, but hey, why be crazy? So that's all there is to cloning a specific branch and checking out that specific branch only. If you enjoyed this tutorial, head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. Um, and also, if you're interested in any of my antics, follow me on Twitter, at CameronMCNZ.